are here at Rocket Bar and Grill, and guess what's going to happen exactly a year from today? That's right. Chicago is going to be chosen as the city to host the 2016 Olympics, and um, I see no reason why we shouldn't celebrate a year in advance. Here chatting with Anjali Forber Pratt and Anjali, congratulations! How many medals have you won? I won two bronze medals in the Paralympic Games uh, just a couple weeks ago. Girls rule. Hey, that's true. <laughs> who's the uh, Who's the lucky company? Walgreens. <laughs> nice. You know what? I just moved here from Austin, Texas. I have never seen so many Walgreens before in my entire life. This is like a Walgreens convention up here in Chicago, right? Well, the corporate headquarters are based here in Deerfield, Illinois. So that's Where you learn something like. every day. All right. Now, when you apply for a job, I mean, do you even put a resume together? Are you like... Uh, you just bring your medals? I mean, do you just have to show up? How does that work? No, I, I do have a resume put together. Um, but for me, the trick is finding an employer that's willing to work with my schedule and the flexibility of being an, a full-time athlete. Okay, well, that is so awesome. So you're going to be training for eight more years for the next Olympics. That's the plan. So I am here now chatting with Matt Grievers, and he's pretty good at swimming. How, how good are you at swimming? Um, I'm okay. I'm just testing it out. Uh, how many how many medals do you have? I have three medals. Nice. I got two gold and a silver. Um, I did the relays, and so it's kind of cheating because I just swam the prelims, and then the other guys finished off and really got the golds for me. Yeah, the, I think I think we all think that sounds like cheating too. Yeah, hey, <laughs> but uh, they gave me the hardware anyway, so I'm walking around. A um, I was totally kidding, Matt. I know. Okay, good. Hey, um, what's going on with this tattoo? Oh yeah, you saw it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's tradition, I guess, to get a tattoo. Is you make the Olympic team, especially all the swimmers have it. So oh, I don't. Really? Yeah, that's mine. It's kind of an unspoken rule not to get yeah. it unless you ban. It's kind of like um, honor, um, yeah. code of honor. It is. It really is. It's like a rite of passage. Once you make it, you get your tattoo. So. I couldn't believe the options out there. So I went with what I thought was the coolest, and I was like, Hey, can you do it? And they're sure. He's like, um, for you, yes, I can. Well, he didn't. The guy didn't have a TV, so he's like, I didn't even watch the names. Like, no worries. Are you, are you good at this? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. If it was here, I plan on swimming in 2012. But if we get the bid, I'm gonna swim to 16. I mean, Beijing did a great job, but I think if anyone can do it better, it's Chicago. I mean, we have the resources, we have the fans. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're like nutty, crazy fans. Biggest sports city probably in the world. Are you kidding me? I go to all the Cubs games. I see what we're all doing. We're crazy. I'm part of it. I'm like, ah! How do you think um, having the Olympics coming here, how do you think that is going to affect Chicago in, in a couple of ways? I think primarily it's going to increase sport opportunities for youth and inspire and excite youth about participating in the Olympics. Secondary to that, it has all kinds of transient benefits to the city of Chicago. Economic, uh, name recognition, uh, all different kinds of positive impacts on the city. And then finally, I think it can bring the city together and also unite the city and the country with the rest of the world. One year from now, October 2nd in Copenhagen, Denmark, the, uh, the International Olympic Committee votes for the host city of the 2016 Games. Woohoo! Woo! Uh, yeah, exactly. And so we have about a year to buy up all the property that we can, right? Because when we get announced, I mean, let's be honest. That's right. I could tell you the, the secret venue plans, and you could capture the right properties, but then I'd have to kill you. We wouldn't want that. No, the world definitely needs me. How long have you lived in Chicago? Uh, 19 years. Nice. What is your favorite thing? I'm only 21, so that's almost my whole life. Yeah, you, your mom was like, you know what, let's put him in a good preschool. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing about Chicago, and uh, not Olympic-wise, just because I'm nosy? You know, my favorite thing about Chicago is the people. There's such a great diversity of wonderful, hardworking, energetic people who are friendly. Uh, and if you live here, you have to. You, that's what you appreciate about the city first and foremost. For sure, that's why I moved here. Go Chicago! Woo! All right, you heard it here, folks. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Go Chicago 2016! I couldn't have said it better myself. Nice. Thank you. You're